don't know. What do you think? This is too much. This is too much work. They should just make a phone that does everything and it's like 300 bucks. That's it. And it's not like they reinvented the phone. It came out like eight, in the 1800s. Why is this a big deal? Look at this. It's too much. It's too much. I didn't get a receipt. I didn't get the box, the actual marketing box it was in. So this is what they gave me. It's like three buckaroos for this. They made me some janky little box that they use for their other stuff, for their onion rings and stuff. I don't know what they put in this. Trinkets? Who knows what that goes in this box? Um, no dipping sauce. I didn't get a receipt. I didn't get the box. So, hey, Burger King, good going. What? That's customer service for you, Burger King. Thanks a bunch. Look at this. The onion rings, they're overcooked. They're, it's like hard as a rock. So I'm gonna try this out, okay? So, you know, I expect to pay, if it's $3, 20, I don't care. It's the principle of it. Give me what, give me what uh, I'm supposed to get. I didn't get any dipping sauce. I shouldn't have to ask. I didn't get the box, I shouldn't have to ask. Right, I didn't get a receipt, I shouldn't have to ask. It's all about customer service, Burger King. Get it, do some retraining, train your people how to do it right. It must, this is the weekend, the manager must be gone or on the lunch, but you know, dropping the ball, Burger King, dropping the ball. So, you know, this is the new uh, chicken fries. They're gonna come up with uh, squares next time. You know, they're running out of ideas. So we came out with circles or little wheels. And they're calling them an onion ring or fried rings. I don't even know if I can go on with this. I'm so riled. I haven't even tasted this yet, and I'm just riled already. And, okay, here we go. I'm gonna try these out. No dipping sauce. I shouldn't have to ask, right? Why am I asking? Why am I doing their job? Reminding them to do this and that and that. No. Here we go. Overcooked, dry. It might be less dry if I had dipping sauce. Looks like they just threw it together. It's like, what the hell's going on over there? I should go back. This sucks. You know what? No. This is all wrong, Burger King. Maybe if I would have got the box. You know, the marketing box with the dipping sauce and my receipt. Maybe that would have made me feel better about the whole process about this thing. Maybe I would overlook the the overcooked rings, the dried chicken. Maybe I would have overlooked that. But no, this is what you guys janky gave me. Thanks for the great customer service burger game. On a scale of one to 10, this is a one. This sucks. Go to Burger King, you'll probably get a better deal than I did. I'll never get my three bucks back. You suck, Burger King. This is a one. You guys can't. I don't know. This sucks. I'm over it. I'm done. Waste of time. So anyways, sorry about that, gang. You guys dropped the ball. Get it right. If you're not gonna do it right, don't do it at all. Burger King, okay? Come on. What's up? Is this so hard? You're just doing a ring and you guys can't, you know, they got the, you know, the marketing in the window, you know, the, the box, the ring. No, didn't even look like, not even close. Who knows how much I spent? They probably just charged my card up. Yeah, it's three, three bucks, 326. Don't give them a reason. I'll find out next month when my bank account's dry. Anyways, thanks Burger King, thanks for nothing. This sucks, it's a one. A one, I'm gonna give it a one for uh, the, the, the brown bag to get in so I can actually have it in something I can throw in the back seat. So when you get all over the place. Thank you, Burger King, for that. Well, let me see. This isn't a brioche bun, and there's no Gouda on here. This is a plain old chicken sandwich. What is going on? These jerk-offs over there, 
They don't know what's going on. They can't. Why would I order? Uh, Nine dollars for this combination. I didn't even get what I ordered, gang. I wanted the smoked gouda and they gave me a chicken, stupid chicken sandwich. Come on. What's wrong with you, Wendy's? Come on. Now I have to go back. Look at this. Ugh. Hate this. What is the problem? Why can't things work out for me? What is going on? I went, when I ordered this, let me tell you what happened. When I ordered this, I went through, I go, I want the combo. Okay, give me the combo. Okay, I tasted the, I ordered a Coke. I like Coke. I get, I taste the Coke as I'm pulling away in the drive-thru. It's Diet Coke. I, I want Coke. I don't like the taste of Diet Coke. I'm sorry, that's just me, okay? So I pull around, I get back in line, and I go, can you give me, you gave me a Diet Coke. Okay, I'm sorry. And now I look and they give me this, a plain old chicken, stupid chicken sandwich. Come on, Wendy's, come on. Zero, you guys get a zero for the brioche, Wendy's brioche. Now, I'm so PO'd right now, I don't even know if I'm gonna do this video again, this review. So let's just call this the smoked Gouda chicken on brioche. Wendy's smoked uh, Gouda chicken on brioche, part one. If I decide to do part two, then we'll do it. I'm so PO'd right now, I'm not even gonna go back because this really riles me because it, it can't even get it right. They, they gave me the Coke wrong. And now, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with you people? Don't you guys speak English? This is all about customer service, Wendy's. This isn't good customer service. You guys are killing me. Maybe in a couple days I'll do the part two, which is the real one. We'll see. It just matters what kind of mood I am in. What a way to ruin my day. I went there around 2.30 in the afternoon. It's about 2, what time is it? 2.40 right now, 2.45. And um, I wanted to wait a couple weeks, you know, let them get in the groove and stuff and see how they uh, fared. Well, let me tell you something, muchachos. So I got the Egg McMuffin, okay? This is what it took me like, took them like six, seven minutes. They go, oh, it's gonna take about four minutes to make. Just bake it. I know, it's gonna take, okay? I'll give you some slack. It's gonna take some, t I get it. You don't have to tell me. So they make it and I'm waiting and I'm waiting. No, 14 minutes later, I finally get it. I go, where's, I'm not a big complainer. I go, where's my egg McMuffin? Oh, 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 they're in the back shuffling around. Like what's going on back there? And they finally give me the egg McMuffin and they just hand it to me like this. They just hand it to me, here you go. No bag, no napkins, nothing like, hey, see ya, thanks for stopping by, nothing. Thanks McDonald's, thanks for that great customer service. So they gave me this uh, egg McMuffin. It looks like the egg McMuffin, I'll give him that. And it has, you know, the jamon. It's got the egg and the uh, American cheese, you know. And um, so I keep hearing lots of things. You know, all the franchisees are whining. <laughs> it's taking too much work. It's too hard. Stop Mick whining, you whiners, you franchisees. This is your problem. You guys became, you know, part of the McDonald's family when you chose to become a franchisee. You guys shouldn't be whining at all. Can you imagine if you had a real restaurant and you're doing seasonal uh, menus, you know, every week, different menus every week? You guys would implode. Can you imagine? You know how many little diners, little mom and pop diners out there are doing breakfast and and sandwiches and this and that all day long? They don't they don't have problems. They work it out. You guys can't handle it. Well, you know what? You guys can handle it. You know what it is it's called? It's called management. It's not teaching you the right way to cook because they don't never knew how to learn how to cook either. So they're just like, you know, they're like in the McDonald's cult, you know, uh, this is how I was taught. You know, I pushed this button and it cooks the burger. No, man, bring in some, those corporate chefs and show people how to cook, right? I don't even know if they know how to cook, but anyways, so I get this McDonald's, the A McBuffin here. Stop McWhining McDonald's. This is your fault. You know, you guys waited, you know, we're at McDonald's. We don't have to do breakfast all day. It's 10.31, you can't have breakfast anymore. You guys are killing me. Now you guys have breakfast all day. <laughs> you guys have been doing it two weeks, oh my God. It's the worst. 
Well, can you imagine? You never hear about Jack in the Box complaining. Oh, Jesus, they added uh, um, uh, tacos with nacho sauce. You don't hear that Jack in the Box complaining. We just can't do it. It's too hard. It's tough on us. You guys need to get a grip, McDonald's. Stop McWhining. Stop it right this second. This better be the best egg McMuffin I've ever had. So let's try this out, okay? So we know what it looks like. Four dollars for this. I'm like, what? Four, I'm, I'm like, whatever. Just get the thanks for the bag and the, uh, you know, the napkins. And I appreciate it. There you go. There you go. Just, there, there you go. You've been waiting 15. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks, McDonald's. What is going on with McDonald's? They finally listen to their customers. It's about time. What have you guys been the last 30 years? Everybody's been serving breakfast but you. I'm McDonald's. It's 10.30. You can't have anything. You can't have breakfast. Sorry, we cut you off. We're McDonald's. You, you, don't, you can't have breakfast. Sorry. We have more in the back, but we're not going to give you any more. <laughs> we're just going to give it to all our workers back there because they're hungry. So, you know, you can't. Mm, 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 mm. You got to go to... Jack in the Box of Carl's Jr. get your breakfast. <laughs> We're at McDonald's. <laughs> what? You think of all the money you've lost, McDonald's? People just driving past. It's 11, it's 1031. It's 11 o'clock. Let us drive past McDonald's. We're gonna get breakfast somewhere else. Think of all the money. Oh my, think of the money you've lost, McDonald's. Think about it. And now, you know, there's some guy back east, a manager who said, when they came up with the concept, of breakfast, it went viral. Who, what do you mean they? What do you mean the big shots up in the clouds at the McDonald's and their super tower of, you know, looking down at all of us in their food, big food universe. You know what? Let's allow them to have breakfast. I think they've earned it because we're McDonald's. No, you need to listen to your customers. You haven't listened to your customers in years. You gave us all this weird stuff. Wraps and, uh, you know, uh, gluten free yogurt and all this, uh, you know, uh, artisan chicken sandwich. Yeah, that was a good one. And all this, you know, even their last one, their buttermilk thing with re for re re reflection bread that Dame said it was so funny. The reflection bun, you know, the shiny bun, you can see yourself in it. What were you thinking? What's going on? But you're not listening to your customers. And finally, I think something happened. They realized, you know, we're losing, we're losing customers here. What do we do? You know? Oh my. Let's, let's serve breakfast. I've been saying that for 30 years. You need to come up with that stupid dollar menu. Oh, well, you know, when you make some extra money, let's have a dollar menu and serve uh, McDoubles and this and that, blah, 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 blah. You know how much money you could have made if you just served breakfast all day? You didn't even have that stupid dollar menu. You could have breakfast all day. What is going on with you? So they're gonna have egg McMuffin, breakfast sandwiches, or biscuit sandwiches, hash browns, sausage burrito, and hot cakes. McDonald's, I just wanna thank you for that. But it's baby steps, McDonald's, it's baby steps. I need the whole menu, McDonald's. I need you to throw the whole package at me. I need you to wrap me up in a cocoon of breakfast items. I need sausage McGriddle. Somebody up there, some rogue, some rogue manager up there in, in uh, McDonald's uh, tower said, you know what? We need to do the breakfast thing. We need to do this now. We need to listen to Joey. You know, we need to listen to customers. Let's listen to customers for the first time. Maybe the old, old codgers up there running McDonald's, maybe they're dying off and maybe they got new young blood in there now. And now they're going, you know what? Joey's right, and all our customers are right. We need to bring, Mc we need to have breakfast all day. So let's do baby steps, and maybe in the future we'll do the whole breakfast menu. That's okay, McDonald. I get it. But you know they they're talking about you know um, oh we don't have grill space. That was their big excuse. Grill space. Tell that to the guy, the local guy running his local little diner doing breakfast and eggs and full breakfast and lunch on his little grill like this big. Tell him about grill space. Like, hello McDonald's, you can't figure grill space out? You know, we're McDonald's, we just press buttons here. You know, I need some fries, press a button. I need a hamburger, press a button. You know, I need a parfait, press a button. 
You know McDonald's there you should have no love. You showed no love when you're cooking. You gotta be in there and be creative and throw stuff and spices and show some love in your cooking. But no, we had to go out and buy more kitchen equipment. Hello, McDonald's, how much money do you guys make a year? You guys make billions and billions and billions. It's on your stupid sign. Billions and billions, sir, that means billions and billions in money. You guys can't afford kitchen equipment? Everybody affords kitchen equipment. People at home go buy kitchen equipment every day. The local restaurant guy goes buy kitchen equipment every day. If he needs to, you know, help, uh, build his customer base, he goes buy kitchen equipment. We're McDonald's, we don't do that. We got our systems in place, because we're McDonald's. But you know what? I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Baby, it's all about baby steps. Baby steps, McDonald's. It's about time, McDonald's, it's about time. You guys finally did it.